Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you've tuned into this channel all over the world. Welcome to Verdict TV, the news updates. Peter Rubio finally leaks untold truth behind 2027 presidency rumors. See what he said. Welcome once again, and thank you for tuning in to this news. But please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, carefully listen to the end. Peter Ruby, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in the 2023 elections, has strongly refuted recent reports suggesting that he plans to run for the presidency again in 2027. In a statement released via his verified Twitter handle on Saturday, July 15, the former governor of Anambra State dismissed the fabricated claims and clarified that he had never granted interviews on which the reports were based. Furthermore, he denied commenting on the alleged offer of appointment slots made by the Bola Tenumbo led federal government to the opposition. Obi expressed his disappointment with the manipulation of the media space, emphasizing his commitment to addressing national issues through reputable news and media outlets. In a statement, Peter Ruby expressed dismay at the emergence of fake media reports and news items that are grounded in interviews and press remarks he never made. He, specific, pardon, he specifically highlighted two recent instances, a supposed Arise TV interview in which he allegedly stated his intention to run for office in 2027 and his alleged reaction to the prospective appointees into the federal government. Peter Obe clarified that both reports were baseless and condemned the alarming level to which political manipulation of the media has sunk. Undeterred by these distractions, Obi affirmed his dedication to addressing important national matters through recognized news and media organizations. The Anambra state-born politician made it clear that he would not be swayed by sheep and distracting tactics. Instead, he reiterated the original mission of his obedient movement, which aims to create a new Nigeria based on principles and values that uplift and empower the and empower the marginalized. Obi emphasized that his focus was not on political positions or personal gain, but on setting the nation on the right path and strengthening democracy. Meanwhile, amidst the ongoing political developments, a supporter of Peter Obi on Twitter, at Savik101, expressed unwavering confidence in his preferred candidates. At Savik101, boldly predicted that Peter Obi would emerge victorious in courts and be declared the president of Nigeria, asserting that there would be no need for a rerun. However, it is important to note that these remarks reflect the opinion of a single supporter and do not represent official statements from Peter Obi or his campaign. In conclusion, Peter Obi has categorically denied the allegations of his presidential con- intentions, pardon, his presidential contention in 2027, asserting that such claims were fabricated and baseless. He expressed disappointment at the proliferation of fake news and emphasized his commitment to addressing national issues through reputable news and media outlets. Obi's focus remains on his mission to create a new Nigeria that prioritizes the welfare of the people and strengthens democracy. 
Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, who came third in the last presidential election, and who is of the mindset that he wants to create a new Nigeria, and because of that, after the election, took the election result to court and contended the results that it is false, it is fake. And there has been in the news that Peter Obi has actually said that he would be running for presidency again in 2017, 2027, pardon, that is in the next four years. But he has come online to say that he did not say that, that he is only focused now on what is on ground, that everything he's after is to address the national issues. And if he wants to do that, it's through reputable news and media outlets, not those ones who will give him news that that, that will in, um, twist his words. And also concerning the media, fake media report that he denied commenting on the alleged offer of, pardon, also the fake news that he accepted the appointment slot that was made by Tinumbu led federal government. He denied it. And Peter will be in which Nigerians love, even the youth. And looking at the election results, he had condemned the alarming level in which political manipulation of the media has sunk. So the former Anambra state governor is determined, is focused. And he, he has emphasized that his focus was not on political positions or personal gain, but on setting the nation on the right path and strengthening democracy. So him, him running for 2027, he has denied the allegations. And such claims are lies. They are fabricated. They are manipulated and baseless. We have come to the end of the news. So dear listeners, what's your view today? Do you think Peter will be we want to run in 2027? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.